Okay, sup guys, it's your boy Dragon the Tree here. Today we are making a tier list video of uh, some of my favorite games or some of the games that I didn't like that I've played. So, we're gonna start off with garbage. And I already know what game I'm gonna put in garbage. And that's Tower of Battlegrounds from 2015. So, I played this game kind of late because I didn't have a piece, good PC or console for it. But la last year I bought this game and I didn't really enjoy it. It's really bland and I don't know, I just fucking dislike it. It's not enjoyable. And it's very grindy. And some skins, you need to fucking grind for pretty much everything in that game. I really dislike the game, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, next one, hmm, let's see, is gonna be FIFA 20. So, FIFA 20. There's a story behind this because with FIFA, FIFA I just picked a random FIFA game out, but uh, I started playing FIFA, you know, when I was a kid. I'm not sure if it was necessarily FIFA on the PS1, but yeah, I really like sports games, and after that, I got a little pause. Then around 2008. 2010 I played FIFA again and I think it was FIFA 8 on the PS3 and then I don't know man uh, I had another like pause between time then I played FIFA 8 on the DS then uh, and I played that for a while then I quit it then I got my PS3 around 2015 then I bought FIFA 15, but I also played some earlier FIFAs and I really enjoyed those. And FIFA 15 was for me basically the best FIFA that I've played because it was it was simple, it was enjoyable, it wasn't that hard. And yeah, but then FIFA 16 came and it really kind of destroyed FIFA for me because a lot of things that you could do were dumped down, like passing was made weaker because when you pass the ball in FIFA 15 it would pass pretty hard if you would have to like the the strength bar I'm gonna call it that like full but well that was it was a shame and that's why I don't like FIFA anymore <laughs> so next uh, this is the garbage list for now and next we're gonna take uh, Hitman Absolution so Hit Hitman Absolution, I don't necessarily think it's a bad game, but I do think the story is bad. The story could have been way better in my opinion. And the gameplay could also could also have been better. But yeah, th that's pretty much it. Don't have much to say about Hitman Absolution. It's a okay game, but it's not the game I would play anymore. It's just, I don't like it that much. Then next, on meh, we're gonna put Battlefront 2. So, I do like Battlefront 2 more than Battlefront 1, but it's still not a likable game for me. It's a game that I get bored of really quick and I think the game is like hella big. I don't get it why the game is so damn big. It's like 90 gigs and I don't think it uh, should be that big for a game that lacks some stuff. But still, it's definitely not a bad game anymore. It was way worse when it first came out with the, you know, with the loot loot uh, cases and that sort of stuff. But they got rid of it and they had a lot of updates and when I first played it it definitely was better but still I wouldn't play it anymore I don't enjoy it and next uh, some people that I played this game with are probably not gonna like what I'm gonna say but Sea of Thieves is going to meh well why it's in meh is because it's definitely not a bad game but it's just uh, I just don't like it anymore. 
therapist that I wasn't, I didn't agree with a bunch of stuff that they did, like adding microtransactions to buy uh, parrots or dogs or whatever they added now. They honestly, and I've seen some videos about Pirate Legend, and I, and I agree with some of the stuff, and I honestly think that you should, that they should have done more for the Pirate Legends and that the pets sh should be available for higher ranked pirates or just pirate legends that's how i feel about it at least and yeah i it is a very fun game if you play it with friends though but i played it with ape and i played it a lot with ape and no offense to ape but it has nothing to do with him but when you play the game just with one person all the time it's gonna get boring really quick but I know you guys know what I mean so next game I'm gonna pick is Warfam also Seal Thieves is mm, it's a bit grindy but it's a good grind I guess so War Thunder is the next one on the meh list so War Thunder it's definitely not a bad game I've played it on the channel I think I've also live streamed on the channel but I just don't really think it's my game. I think the game is hella grindy and that's why I don't like it. I really don't like it when games uh, like force you to grind stuff. Well, you are actually supposed to grind if you want better tanks or better planes or better boats or helicopters. But still, I don't really like that. Because you guys know I'm genuinely bad in games in general so <laughs> a game where you have to grind just isn't my game but it's not a bad game so if you're all saying that I'm saying it's bad it's not a bad game so next one is No Man's Sky so No Man's Sky even though I'm playing it right now I just don't enjoy it as much as I do other games so I uh, I think you can compare No Man's Sky to Space Engineers since you can go to the planets and sh such but the only thing No Man's Sky is different in is that it doesn't have uh, the amount of detail details in building like uh, what's it called like Space Engineers has and there's no shipbuilding but it also doesn't have or it does have that you can go to galaxies which Space Engineers doesn't but Space Engineers is still more enjoyable than No Man's Sky and I'm drifting off but anyways uh, No Man's Sky is way better than it used to be like when it just launched it was just so bad and also one uh, one particular reason why it's in meh it's because it's so bad optimized it's so badly optimized I need to set a bunch of settings lower if so I can play with a more constant FPS and I'm still getting frame drops even though I shouldn't considering the fact I got a okay processor and a pretty good video card <coughs> okay next one on the list is Watch Dogs uh, I did enjoy Watch Dogs actually but you know at the time I didn't have a PC or a PS4 so I watched the gameplay and thus I got I get bored of the game because I already know what's going to happen. But it is uh, very enjoyable to fuck around in Watch Dogs. But I still think gameplay wise, I think Watch Dogs 2 is better. But some of the story aspects in Watch Dogs 1 is better than Watch Dogs 2. If you ask me. So yeah, that's why it's in meh. Next one. And it kind of hurts me because I've always liked the Sims franchise, but Sims 4 is going on the meh list. So why is Sims 4 on the meh list? Well, it's in the meh list because it's just so bad. It's, well, no, it's not a bad game. It's just that the developers don't seem to be that interested in the game. So if you don't understand what I mean, it's just that the expansion packs they're so expensive they ask a lot of money for nothing so what I also mean with that is that uh, I, I saw a community stream or whatever it was and they were talking about I think the university DLC 
and <laughs> it was so cringe the developers were so bad and yeah I don't know I just didn't really like Sims 4 as much as I wanted to but I still enjoy playing the game especially I like I especially like playing around with the mods like uh, Brutal Violence that's a good mod in, in uh, Sims 4 and um, what else and yeah there's a lot of loading screens in this game Sims 4 uh, Sims 2 has a lot of loading screens but it's an older game so I kind of understand that but still I didn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to which is a shame because I like the Sims franchise <coughs> uh, next game so now we're going to the alright list and we're gonna start off with Mountain Blade Battlelord so you guys already know I didn't enjoy uh, Battlelord as much as I wanted to because they give you a lot of freedom and not that it's bad because but in Mountain Blade Bannerlord you have to you still have to follow a certain storyline to become a kingdom while in Warband you don't have to do that but you do have to uh, have certain points to become like the primary kingdom of Caradia I think I'm not sure if that's right I'll have to look into that but yeah you still can become a kingdom so I don't know and it's also uh, I don't know the game is a is a bit bland just a bit but it's definitely not a bad game I definitely recommend it for people that want to like have a better mouth and blade game but I wouldn't I do think that Warband is better than Bannerlord but Bannerlord is not a bad game I, I really enjoy it but it's just that I do get kind of bored of it because I feel like I've seen it all already because I've played ben uh, Warband so much you know and it's also a shame that they didn't add voice actors in the game F voice acting because that would have uh, made the game even better if you ask me okay next one on the list Shadow of War so Shadow of War where is it? it's a very good game I really like it but the reason why I put it on pretty uh, in alright is because it's it's really all it is it's decent the storyline is a bit I don't know Italian in this game is a bit uh, meh and the game is hella grindy because you come to a certain point in the story where you just need to keep uh, fighting castles and it's really grindy and I don't really like that and now it's not a bad sort of grinding but yeah and I also kind of find this game boring now because when it released I didn't have the console for the game or a PC so I already watched the story you know so yeah that's basically why I didn't really uh, enjoy it as much as I wanted to but it's still a good game I do recommend it the DLC are a bit <laughs> are a bit mad though in my opinion alright next game on the list is Lego Indiana Jones 2 yeah so I don't know I don't have much to say about Lego Indiana Jones 2 I played it a lot on the DS and it was a very good game but since I'm older now it kind of has a lot lost its charm if you ask me so that's why I don't that's why it's an alright and not in pretty good or the best but it's still a good game so yeah that's why it's why it is an alright uh, next one is GTA 4 where's GTA 4 it's over here so GTA 4 um, I've played this game and because I didn't have the same story with the other games just because I didn't have a PC or a console back then I already watched the story so it was kind of boring for me but the part that I did play and I think it was like 40 or 50 percent of the story I did enjoy it it's a very fun game but I still think it this uh, it should be in the alright spot because I didn't enjoy it as much as I 
enjoyed uh, GTA San Andreas because I think GTA San Andreas is the best GTA game that's just how I think so yeah next game on the list is Prison Architect so Prison Architect is a very cool game I like designing the prisons I like the uh, uh, criminal insanity mod uh, DLC I really like it and I like the the island inbound or whatever it's called mod uh, DLC I mean it's really cool but I just it's not a game that I would pick to play for hours if I would see it in my game as you know I'd rather play uh, the Sims 2 or the RDR2 or uh, all the other games well not not all the other games but you get what I mean I'd rather play other game when I would see it but it's still a good game and I do enjoy it actually okay sorry if I'm being a bit vague with some games but yeah Jedi Outcast so Jedi Outcast uh, a funny story about that one uh, back when I had a MacBook, I I bought it cheap though. It was a refurbished MacBook. I uh, played it when uh, I I saw it in the App Store for the MacBook, and then I was like, "Bro, they have this game," and I never heard of it back then. But I was like, "Okay, but let's give it a try," and I and I bought it and I played it, and I had a lot of fun with it. But now it has kind of lost its charm because I like Jedi Academy more than Jedi Outcast because it's a better game. But yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. It's a good game, but uh, some of it I don't know. I like the dueling more in Jedi Knight Academy, and it's a better and Jedi Knight Academy is a better game than Outcast. Um, so next one is Heroes and Generals World War Two. So where is it? It's where the fuck is Heroes and Generals? I'm hella blind. Here it is. So Heroes and Generals, it's a good game. I really enjoy playing it with friends. I really do. But it's not a game that I play on my own. You know, it's not a game where I'm like, oh, mm, let's let's play some Heroes and Generals. Nah, nah. The game is not like that for me. It's a game I merely play with friends, and that's it. That's not bad. The do be very grindy though. I don't like that. I really dislike that. Next one, uh, Microsoft Simulator, Flight Simulator. There's not much to say about this game. I enjoy the game. It's pretty good. Mm, I have seen a lot of videos about it. And yeah, it's just a solid game, if you ask me. A solid, alright game. <laughs> Next one is Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. So there's a story about this one. I used to play this game on the PS2 uh, with my brother a lot. Uh, it was such a fun game. And then he, he gave the game to me and I played it on my own PS2 a lot of times. And then years later I bought it on Steam and made a series about it on my, uh, on my PC on YouTube and it was pretty fun but now that I look at it sometimes and look videos of it it kind of lost its charm but it's still a, a decent game and it's way better than the PS3 or the Xbox version so next one Sims 3 so Sims 3 mm, it's a it's a it's a nice game but I just I don't know man it's not that enjoyable for me I I played it on the PS PSP first, then I played it on the DS, and then on the PC. And, you know, it's an alright game. Uh, it's badly optimized though, from the PC. It really do be badly optimized. And I don't get why. On my previous PC it didn't even recognize my graphics card for some reason. I don't know why, but, you know, those things happen, I guess. 
and let's see next game is gonna be this game so also a funny story about this game I played this version on the DS and on the DS it was pretty good on the PS2 it was also pretty good but just like uh, the other games from which I said it did it lost its charm too the dueling is pretty nice because you got like a uh, dueling mode which you can play with two players on two controllers and that mode is pretty cool and you also have like a challenge mode which is also nice but that's it you know it's it's a cool game and it has a pretty cool alternative ending you should definitely search it up I feel like I'm missing a game uh, I feel like I'm missing a game that should be in here. I don't know. We'll see. Um, next one is Lego Parts of the Caribbean. So Lego Parts of the Caribbean. Funny story about that one too. I first played it on the DS, then the 3DS. They were pretty good. But then I play it on the PC, and bro, I gotta tell you, the PC version is way better than the DS or the 3DS version. But just like the Star Wars game, if I play it now, I really feel that it lost its charm. But it's very fun if you play it with friends. I played it with fish once. It was quite funny. I kept throwing him in the water. <laughs> Alright, next game. Um, Maybe y'all won't like me for this one, but Terraria is going to be in the alright game section. It's a very good game, but it's just that they g for me the game feels like it gives too much freedom to the point where I'm like, bro, what should I do next? You know, there's no... For some games I feel like there should be directions given, like uh, Jedi Fallen Order, where you follow a storyline, and some games not where you're in the open world or a sandbox like Terraria but I feel like Terraria is a game that gives too much freedom but hey that's just how I feel like that's how I feel about it and I already said that in the video about stopping the series so yeah next game you playground it's a very good game I really enjoy it but uh, yeah it's uh, it's just a bit of a sadistic game. I only play it when I'm like, hmm, time to quickly play a game or time to quickly make a video. That's that's the only, prob mostly the only reason why I play it. But it's still a fun game and yeah, it's quite it's quite good actually. And it has some cool mods like y'all, like y'all saw. Okay. next uh next tier is pretty good so we're gonna start off with bear trauma so like you all know i like bear trauma a lot it's a cool submarine simulator game i liked i like making the uh, submarines for this game i'm probably gonna make a new submarine soon i don't know with the new updates coming i might make a new submarine because there's chairs coming and all those other juicy stuff so I don't know man I'll see and yeah I like the multiplayer playing with other people and actually playing it instead of trolling around like I do with fish a lot of times <laughs> but yeah it's a lot of fun next one is a big uh, nostalgia it's FIFA 8 so I got a nice story about that one I played this game a lot on the, D uh, on the DS and Basically what you could do with this game is that if you had you had your own team and you could make your own team hella OP So basically you could make all your all your players 99-99 uh, because it wouldn't show 100 But you know that your player is 100 stat in every stats so yeah And that was pretty cool because even if you were 
having an OP team, it was still pretty hard to play because if you put it on like world world class or whatever the difficulty is the highest, it was still very difficult to score. And maybe that was just because of me, but yeah, it was still pretty hard to score, honestly. So yeah, pretty sick game. Pretty good times if you ask me. So another nostalgia trip. Yes, <coughs> Tony Pro Ho Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. I played that game a lot on the PS1. It was a very good game. I played a lot with my brothers too. And we spent a lot of time playing that game, I think. So yeah, that's why it's in pretty good. Mostly nostalgia, but also because it's so good. And there's gonna... Mm, there's a new remake or a remaster coming of Tony Hawk Pro Skater. 1 and 2, so I might actually buy that one when it comes out, or not, I don't know. Uh, next one on the list is... Another nostalgia one, that's Spider-Man. So, Spider-Man, I played that on the PS1 too. And it was such a good game, it honestly was. And I played it with my brothers. It wasn't a multiplayer game, but we like, I think we switched over or we didn't. I, I don't remember, honestly, it was way too long ago. But yeah, I have a ROM of this game actually downloaded. So I might live stream it once to show you guys how, the, how this game is and what it is. So yeah, maybe that will happen once. It probably definitely will. <laughs> so next one in the list. It's gonna be Star Wars Battlefront. So yeah, funny story about this one is that I started actually really late with this game. Because this game is from 2004 and I think I bought this game in 2015 for my... Or 14 for my PS2. And I gotta tell you, I played the shit out of this game. It was so good. It was so, so fucking good. I enjoyed it so much, man. It's such a good game. And that's why it's in pretty good. And I still have it on PC. And I have made a video about it, I think. So yeah, it's such a cool game. Man. Next one is Knights of the Old Republic. And a funny thing about this game is that I actually uh, played it and completed it on my iPad. I think you can still buy it. I think it's like 12 euro. And it's such a cool game, it's like an RPG game. And I played uh, this game before that one, but it was still a very cool game. Uh, so it was the same thing, you know, so it I was pretty familiar with it. Just some stuff was different, like the Jedi ropes looked different and some other stuff was different. But still, I, I got the hang of it pretty quickly. And I definitely recommend it. It definitely, well, graphics-wise not, but gameplay-wise, it for me, it definitely holds up till, till this year, or whatever. <laughs> uh, next game. Let's see. Next game is going to be Metal Gear Solid, the first one. So, no, I didn't play this on PS1. I played this on the emulator. And I saw... A lot of gameplay of it, so basically the story. And I gotta say, from the time that I've played it, which is not that long, I really like the game. It's very enjoyable. And I've noticed that I'm saying the, basi the same shit all over again, but it's just how I feel about these games. And yeah, I really like the series too. It's a, a very solid franchise, if you ask me. The Metal Gear Solid franchise. Except for Metal Gear Survive. They can fucking burn that game down if you ask me. <laughs> so next game is another nostalgia game. And it's probably the oldest game on the list. Bionic Commando. I played that game on the Game Boy and it's probably as old as I am. But I played it when I was probably like 13, uh, no, 3 or 4 years old. And it's, it's such a good game. I still play it sometimes. And yeah, 
it's a very basic game honestly but it's very cool all right next game is let's see shadow of mordor so shadow of mordor i don't have that much to say about it i just think it's only on this list because i think it's better than shadow of war in some things and i think uh, talion looks better in this game than in shadow of war but that's about it to be honest yeah and next one on the list is kenshi where's kenshi here kenshi you all see me play kenshi it's very very sick game actually uh, graphics wise it doesn't look that appealing and I know y'all agree but gameplay wise and mechanics wise it's so fucking amazing I enjoyed it a lot and it's probably one of my favorite games on my PC I definitely should play it again one once because I haven't played it in a while I've been playing uh, Stardew a lot lately and other games next one Stardew actually so stardew i definitely recommend stardew if you like more tame and calm games stardew is a very relaxing uh farming rpg sim there's more to it than only farming you have all these npcs and you can marry them and only if they're single obviously and you got a lot of mods like visual mods or mods that gives you the ability to cheat or yeah it's it's a pretty amazing game if you ask me it definitely deserves its spot then we got Jedi Knight Academy and Jedi Knight Academy is it's basically it's the same story for for Jedi, Jedi Knight Academy as Outcast I got this game on the MacBook first and then I got it on the PC here and on the PC here I discovered that it had mods um, base game is pretty nice I completed the game actually with cheats because I couldn't be bothered to play it normally but yeah I uh, let me think yeah and now I, I play the the Jedi Knight Academy mod on it that's called Movie Battles 2 and I gotta say if you got this game I recommend you to, to download Movie Battles 2 because it's such a good mod it's very enjoyable Alright, next one on the list is Mountain Blade Warband, actually. I feel like I'm missing a game. Okay, never mind. So Warband. You all see me play Warband. It's a very sick game if you ask me. And yeah, I've always enjoyed Warband. And it's just an amazing game. If people uh, when people hate on it, I just don't understand when they why they hate on it, you know. It's just it's a, it's a cool game, man. Leave it. Leave it be. Leave it be. So yeah. So yeah, that's basically it. Alright, well moving on. I'm sorry if I'm not talking that much, but I really feel like I'm missing a game here. But I'm not, so I don't get it. I 
Alright, rip then I guess. Well, it's the reason why I feel like I'm missing a game, it's because I already made a video and I made a, fi a picture of it. But it's just that there, there was no sound, so I have to do it again. But it doesn't matter. So, next one in the list is uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. No, you don't belong in garbage. No way that game belongs in garbage. Fuck off. And uh, it's uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I got a good story with that one. When I had my first PC, the friends of my aunt gave me this game. And bro, when I played it, I didn't really understand English yet. It was such an amazing game. And I've never played an RPG back then. So I was very confused with the gameplay. But I still enjoyed it a lot. And then I was at a certain point where I was like in 60% or 70% of the story. And, or 50, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. And I was like, bro, it kept crashing. And I was honestly panicking a lot because I was like, bro, why is it crashing? And, you know, it was very bad because I couldn't play anymore. So I was very sad because I couldn't play my favorite game anymore. And it's still my favorite one of my most favorite game of all time and then one time I went to the market and our other aunt went up with me and gave me some money and then I saw some random guy he sold this game and I was like bro what if I buy it and put the disc in it maybe it will work so I did the just that it was like what five or three euros and it worked and then I began playing again and I fucking completed it and it was such a it was I was so satisfied with completing this game because I had to go through the problem of not being able to play further so yeah that was the story of it that's why it's in the best nostalgia and it's just such a good game oh yeah and I see now which game I've missed and pretty good it's Metal, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty so yeah this game it's pretty good don't have much to say about it I'll, I like Mulgur Salt 1 better though, because you in that game you play as someone else and not Snake, but it's still an alright game. Alright, let's continue the list of uh, the best games. So then comes Red Dead Redemption 2. So, this game, for this game I have the same story as all the other ones. I've already seen the gameplay, so I skipped through the whole story basically but not around the end i kept watching the cutscenes for that because i was like nah i, I want to see this with my own eyes because i felt like i would miss out if i didn't but yeah probably one of my favorite games on the ps3 uh, so next game is jedi fallen order A very cool game, a uh, very good story also, I really like it, and yeah, same story for that one is that I already watched gameplay of it, but I probably completed like 50% of it, and it's very good, I really like the mods that are on it too, I got the mod that gives uh, Cal a beard, and darker hair, which is a pretty nice mod, so yeah, it's pretty nice, <coughs> sorry, Next one we got Empire War. So Empire War, I got a story for that one too. So I was in the store and I saw this game and I looked at the back and I was like, bro, this is so fucking epic. So I went to the cashier, wanted to buy it. And he was like, bro, do you have the base game? And I was like, bro, what do you mean? And he said, well, you need the base game to play it. So buying it would be useless. So I was like, bro. So I was sad. And then years later, on my laptop, I was looking at Steam, and I saw this game, and I was like, bro, I need to have this. And I bought it. <laughs> and I still think it's what it's probably one of the best strategy games. I don't like the the land battles that much, but I do like, uh, it's still they're still okay. But I like the space battles more, though. Uh, then we got Star Wars Battlefront 2. 
So same story with that with the first one. It's I started pretty late with this one, and yeah, it just I bought it like I think the same year as Battlefront One, two thousand four. And it was still a pretty good game, and as you could see in my other videos, I had a shit ton of mods downloaded on my other PC for the game. I honestly should have extracted those uh, mods onto my USB, but it doesn't matter, maybe I'll do that once. But yeah. Uh, next game on the list is Sims 2. So Sims 2, I actually, as a kid, had the first version of this game. came in a box with uh, four CDs. I'm sorry if I paused a bit. Something is not working. And yeah, so that was pretty bruh that it came in four CDs. Then later I was scared of the game for some reason because people burned alive and I didn't know that would happen in The Sims. And then later when I was a bit older I bought the game again and I had the normal game with one disc with the with fuck, you could download DLCs with that one, and I have a bunch of DLCs laying around still, IKEA uh, mansion stuff and that sort of bullshit. But yeah, I really like this game. It's my favorite Sims of all the other Sims games. Alright, next one, probably my one of my second most favorite. Uh, Metal Gear Solid it's Metal Gear Solid 3 I played this game for the first time on the 3DS and I completed that one and I did pretty good I actually had the stealth camo too wh which was so hard to get because you couldn't have any alerts so I had to restart a lot well not restart but just had this I had to save every time that I was in a new section of the game and then if I'd fail, I'd have to reset the game. But yeah, that was alright, I guess. I didn't really mind that. So yeah. Um, let me think really quick. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Next game is San Andreas. I've Funny enough, I've never completed this game. But I was pretty far on it, on my iPad, when I didn't have a PC or console. And it's a very fun game. I did play it when I was younger though. And I had lots of fun with it, playing it with friends. Because you, uh, you could play it with two people, funny enough. If you go to the uh, place that's clo close to Big Smoke's home, uh, that, could, that would enable you being able to play uh, multiplayer with your friend. That was pretty fun. Uh, next game is Death Stranding. And Death Stranding, I gotta tell you, man, it's not for everyone, but it's such a fucking enjoyable game. It's unbelievable how enjoyable this game is. I thought I wouldn't like it that much and that I would end up refunding it, but that's not the case. It's fucking gorgeous. The music is amazing. Pretty much everything about it is cool, in my opinion, at least. Then the next one. <coughs> we got this The Phantom Pain The Phantom Pain is my favorite Metal Gear Solid out of all time It's a very cool game It's open world Which you know n nobody would have expected In a Metal Gear Solid game <coughs> From what I've heard And The stealth is The stealth system is very good I do wish it had some aspects from other games Like Metal Gear Solid 3 The The curing system Where would you where you could heal yourself if you got injured with a gunshot or whatever and the food system like the survival system in Metal Gear Solid 3 was also pretty cool and yeah and then we got Lego Star Wars The Complete Sega probably my favorite game my favorite Lego game of all the other games yeah it's just very enjoyable to be honest don't have much to say about it 
then at, at last we got Red Dead Redemption 2 I gotta tell you man Red Dead Redemption 2 is such a cool game it's so cool and the photo mode is probably one of the best photo modes I've ever seen in any any um, modern day game it's just a very cool game man then the last game we got oh no we don't have any game anymore so I hope you guys like this list please if you got a list please show me I'm really curious to what games you guys have played and in what tier you rank them so goodbye and I hope you guys liked it Yeetah.